Hello, I'm Jessica Fisher, we're going to mom behind the Crafty Gal Diapers and member of the Babyville Boutique Design Team. Um, this is a follow-up video on how to use a snap template, and this one is how to use a snap press. Um, I've had a lot of people ask what kind of pressure they should be applying when they are using their snap press. So my snap press is up on top of my cutting table, which is standard counter or standard table height. Um, you'll see I have my press, I have my my awl. And I have my snaps. I have my diaper ready. So you just want to poke a hole with your awl where each snap's going to be. I've already poked the holes for the rest of the snaps. So to apply your snap, I always poke my holes because I find I get less puckering. Take your cap, press to the back of your fabric. Your cap is now in place. Now you want to take a socket, which is the smoother of them. Place it up into your um, press, and then you're going to lay your fabric on top. Center your cap in the press. At this point, I like to, to gently press the, top, the handle down on my press, and then I actually have a stool next to my table that I'm going to stand up on, and lean with your body weight. And I like to kind of bounce it three or four times. Then pop the snap and done, and you have an applied snap. Some presses take a little more pressure. This is my second press. The first press, the green one, was a very baby brand. This press is a cam snap brand. So I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to place my cap through both layers. You always want to have a second layer to support it. I'm going to press my socket up onto my die, and I'm going to center my cap, my fabric. Gently press down and hold. This one, I have to have a footstool next to my cam snap press. I've discovered I have to bear my full body weight on it, even more so than my ba very baby. Press down two, three times, and voila, we have another applied 